Early December, New York City. And everyone is talking about something. Their lives, but no, something more. Love. They are on the hunt for love. Why? Because they haven't found it. And because they haven't found it, they imagine it. They make it into a myth and chase the myth instead. And that is not love. Meet Frank. Frank's not young. Meet Raina. Raina is young. They become lovers, but Frank winds up back at the fragile altar of his 30-year marriage to Paula. Who'd he pick? He didn't. Now what? Two Irish construction workers dig for the answer in the myth of Tristan and Isolde. 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 Do we make our own choices, or does fate do it for us? And in the meantime, all we have is the chase. All I'm doing is just chasing bubbles. Lie down now, brother. That's all there is. Chase on. Run yourself ragged. That's where I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the chase, but I'm not getting closer to anything. We're all chasing bubbles, but the narrator, Joel, begs to differ. From Triskelion Entertainment and the award-winning creator of the groundbreaking liminal, the psychological Edward Hopper-inspired hotel lobby, and the worldwide festival pleaser, A Cigar at the Beach, comes a new feature, Love is Not Love. Starring Alejandra Goyas, Louise Martin, Tanya Cornelisi, Russell Simpson, Cameron Taggy, and Stephen Keep Mills in this eternal conflict between the erotic and the domestic, between myth and morality, between you and the one you're still looking for. Are you in line or out of line? Chase on. I saw your movie. Great. And I thought it was very good. In fact, I you know, you know, did vote for it in a couple of categories. Uh, I think it was a very, it felt like a, you know, a really smart stage play that you rendered cleverly to film um, using you know, black and white and uh, evocative New York uh, locations. Um, and uh, you know, a very charming cast. Um, I thought it was very well written. Well, listen, uh, don't stop talking now. That <laughs> all sounds great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I just, as I plug in, I'm sorry for the lighting here. It's uh, the cat jumped on my laptop, broke the screen. <laughs> I'm using, uh, so many things that the... can happen. Yes, yes. It's, it's like filmmaking, really, isn't it? Um, <laughs> how long did it take you to shoot it? We shot it in, in three different sections. Uh, so it took from June of uh, 2017 to May of 2018. Mm. So almost mm. a year. I mean, may I ask uh, more or less what it costs? Well, we were under the SAG-AFTRA ultra low budget agreement, which mm -hmm. caps it at $250,000. Um, we did mm -hmm. not go over the cap, and I sold my IRA to raise the funds. Oh, good. Well, you're a brave man. <laughs> Speaking as a fellow retiree, well, you're not retired, uh, and uh, and I. Well, we never retire, do we? No, uh, we don't. That's not a no. word uh, in the vocabulary. No. Uh, well, there's a yeah, I haven't made comment. a film for five years. Yeah. Great comment Sorry? by Ian Esco. Ian Esco, the playwright, he said, yes, I will, yes. said I'm going to write until I'm 90 and then I will dance. <laughs> uh, so I thought that was uh, a good philosophy and yes. uh, I hope to follow it. Yes, oh, good. Well, yeah, look, uh, that, that, it, uh, that's, that, that, it is inspiring. I, I hope to fence uh, Epe at 90, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I did, you know, come ninth um, at the U.S. Nationals uh, for the over 70s uh, wow. in a thin year. Um, but uh, uh, I've had injuries since, and since COVID, I have not uh, been able to fence uh, um, since, yeah, uh, 
really the beginning of the year um, after my injury. But uh, anyway, well, it'll, it'll um, but it's uh, you've, got to go, you've got to have a, a um, something that you're passionate about. Yeah. Um, so um, I haven't made a film for five years, so I envy you. Um, and uh, but I did write a book, uh, which might amuse you. It's called Adventures in the B movie trade. You can get it on Amazon if you feel like it. I think I see Petra. Is that Petra? Yeah. Hello, Petra. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I was disconnected, I not... but I'm happy yeah, that I... uh, we meet each other. <laughs> it is more spontaneous like that. Hi, Stefan. Mm -hmm. Nice to, to meet you. Hello. Hi. Petra. Hi. Hi, Hi, Petra. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm fine. I'm fine. We have uh, Zoom meetings all day long, so they have to be converted. I don't know what happened, and uh, suddenly it was disconnected. Okay. Uh, I'm, but I'm happy. Brian, I'm so glad that uh, you joined us. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I, was, I, 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 I sort of wasn't expecting it. And uh, as I just told uh, Stephen, uh, I got up at three o'clock this morning and couldn't sleep and uh, fell asleep again at about 5.30 or something. And and therefore did not get up in time to get your email for No, uh, it's no problem. We, we can um, do it uh, later after we finish, uh, right? hmm. maybe in one hour. Yeah, I have to, yeah. If you can well, I, I have to go window. out. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, you be in touch and tell me when and, uh, yes. um, uh, and I will, yeah, and give me the information. Uh, and I know I've seen, I've seen the names. Um, yes. But just to, you know, anything, any further things that you'd like to add, yeah. uh, and then I, I'm, yeah. we can connect and you can record my Zoom call. But probably tomorrow is the best, better way. Okay, um, a bit, uh, three hours, four hours earlier, if it is possible. Yeah. Well, so, it, yeah. Anyway, if, if your email your indicates time. when I should yes. connect with you, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you met Stefan. Stefan, you have seen his film, Love is Not yes, Love. Yes, and I really yeah. liked his film. And it's, a, it's an admirable film, um, but yeah, it's a think piece. Um, and, you know, I'm, I can't say that I've made many think pieces myself, um, but uh, um, it's, a, uh, it, it, it is a, you know, I, I really enjoyed it because it was literate uh, and it, it had something to say. Uh, and I found your Inamorata, very charming um, and, uh, and, and seductive. Uh, uh, and I could uh, see how anyone could fall for her. <laughs> Thank you. I, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paul, would you like yeah. to tell us a bit more about uh, your uh, film? Uh, how, what was your inspiration to do? To, to do this yeah. film and to what was the preparation? Well, the, um, the inspiration is the sort of conflict I think uh, I certainly carry around, which is the unresolved wish system that wants one thing and then it wants another. Um, so I tried to dramatize this dilemma. Uh, and make it the choice between uh, the fantasy life, the erotic life, the intimate life, the naked life, and the domestic life, the, the life that has the um, accountability, the responsibility, the uh, repetition, the ritual. Um, and I, I don't think I did resolve it because at the end, the character is by himself walking up a path uh, in a park, but uh, he tried. He tried to find love and I think he may have missed it. I think there is a, a condition in which we miss our fate. Fate gives us a chance. And if we don't take it, then fate is done with us and has moved on to someone else. Um, yeah, it's very, very interesting, Stephen. I met and married my wife in a period of 16 days, nine of which I was away. I discussed <laughs> marriage within four hours of meeting her. And she just briefly came into the bedroom, shocked to see that I was <laughs> talking to other people. Um, <laughs> and I, I need to go down and do uh, things downstairs now because I wasn't expecting this meeting today. But I, I'm so pleased 
to have had the opportunity to pass on um, my, you know, uh, genuine praise for your movie. And it's very slickly put together uh, and on that budget, um, really good. Well, that's good, good old fashioned indie New York filmmaking, it seemed to me. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. could you tell that we used rear screen projection? Um, yeah, but I can, that's my job. Uh, uh, but, but I think it was very good and black and white, yeah, mm -hmm. is a great deal of help. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, anyway, Petra, you'll have to forgive me. I have to leave now, but at yeah. least I had the opportunity to meet one of your artists. Or <laughs> nice two of to your meet artists. you. Two, two. <laughs> nice to meet yeah. you too. And gee, yeah. you know, you're, yes, I, I, I'll, if I get to make another movie, I'll have to, I'll look out for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Thank As a you. director, it's a first picture. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I made uh, some shorts, um, and I wanted to, I wanted to make a full film. Uh, although one of the best shorts I ever saw was a Greek short, uh, and uh, it was. Uh, it was fascinating. It wasn't usually a short has kind of uh, it goes one way and then makes a quick turn to another and leaves you kind of uh, surprised. Uh, that's sort of the formula dynamic of a short. But this one didn't. I felt as if I'd watched a feature uh, watching it. It was uh, very well done and I was impressed. Um, and this is where you learn, you know, you go to festivals and you see other films and you see what can be done uh, and you measure it against what, what you have done. And uh, most of the times uh, you learn. Yes. Did you act also in the, your previous short films? Uh, I did. I, there was a film called Hotel Lobby uh, that was based on an Edward Hopper uh, painting of the same name. Uh, three people stuck in a lobby of a hotel and I, looked at the painting and I thought there's so much psychologically going on. What is it? What are they not saying? So I made it up, uh, but I, I acted in that. Um, but I think uh, that's it for me in my acting career. I, I will make another film, but uh, I'll be on the other side this time. Yes. Uh, yes, because I wanted to ask you how difficult it was for you to, to, to direct yourself and also to have in mind all the other people acting and uh, uh, how you manage to coordinate all these things. Well, I took a lot of time to prepare because I knew it was going to be uh, a lot and I didn't want to tear myself in half uh, and I wanted to be fair uh, to the actors. Luckily, most of the scenes that I'm in are just with one other player. Um, so we rehearsed a lot and rehearsed with the uh, cinematographer. So we all kind of knew what we were doing. Uh, and then when it came time to shoot, I just handed the keys over to the cinematographer and I became a full-time actor at that point. We looked at feedback, you know, playback, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so that we could see, you know, how the scene looked and everything. Um, it's not quite the same as being able to full-time stay behind the camera and, and watch what is happening. But it was, it was good enough and the actors were, thank God, so good that uh, I didn't have to worry. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot. I mean, you know, it's not just acting and directing. Uh, Petra, it's also making sure that you've gotten in touch with the caterer and that they're going to bring the, <laughs> the food at the right time. Uh, so, so we're the producer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or the assistant producer. <laughs> and who's going to clean up afterwards? I mean, it's, uh, it's, I had done a lot of uh, what we call uh, in the States waiver theater, small theater productions. So you get used to doing everything. I mean, you, you find yourself asking, well, who's going to get the props? Who's going to uh, call this person? And the answer is always, you are. You know, so it, uh, there's a great deal of independence uh, involved, and you just have to claim it. You've got to go get the props. You've got to let the caterer in. You've got to uh, 
um, you know, do everything that's needed. I, I understand very well what you're talking about. <laughs> Most of the times when the festival finishes, I'm there <laughs> yes. to, to pick up uh, the certificates and what is uh, left <laughs> because everybody is running away to the party. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't even think, you know, uh, but it's, uh, it's part of, uh, you're the doer, you're the maker, you make the festival. Uh, and I feel that way about film. I don't feel so much as a, a director or as an actor, but I'm just making the film, all of it. Uh, so whatever needs to be done, uh, I'll do what I, I'll, I'll do my part. Okay, uh, where did you uh, meet Ale 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 Alejandra? Where did very, you lucky, meet very lucky, very uh, lucky. <laughs> maybe I'll let Ali answer that. Uh, go ahead, Alejandra. Well, we met, actually, he posted um, a casting submission uh, for another short that we did together. It was called Liminal. That was the first time I met um, Steve. And it was just like a random posting, like on LA Casting. It was LA Casting, right? Was it LA I think Casting? So. I think so. Yeah. It's what, like one of these websites where, you know, people post their auditions and actors just submit. And I didn't even have a representation at the time. And I, you know, submitted myself and um, he, I met him and it was a very um, risky, uh, experimental kind of a short, um, which uh, actually at the end, um, I got to act with Tanya Cornelisi, who's the narrator in uh, Love Is Not Love too. So we were all together in that. And then, you know, we worked together again in Love Is Not Love too. So that's where I met him and we became, I mean, this was what was it, 10, 12 years ago? Something like yeah. that, like, a, yeah, a really long time ago. And we remained friends after Liminal. Um, it was a festival that did, uh, it's a short that did really well in festivals too and around Europe. And, um, and then he had told me about Love Is Not Love. Um, I went to a table read for it and it was called something different. And then, you know, it evolved. And uh, when he finally gave me like the script at the end, um, it was such a wonderful um, discovery and excitement. The fact that he had thought of me for this kind of a role because I, it's, it was something that I've never done before. I've played very different parts in the movies that I've been in. And uh, so I was amazed and excited and um, kind of doubtful of myself that I could do like this kind of role that he was offering me because it wasn't something that I considered myself, you know, representing. So um, that's how we met. It's, it's great when you have a good uh, relationship uh, with uh, an actor, a director, and uh, you have the opportunity to work more in future projects. I think this is ideal. It is. <laughs> it's really think... wonderful. And it's not very common, I mean, to find, you know, someone who you really connect with and you're able, I mean, especially in Love is Not Love, it's a very intimate tale, um, especially between, you know, Reina and Frank, uh, the characters that we play. And you really need this connection and being able to be comfortable with each other. And, you know, so it was very easy to do that because of our relationship, so. Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. Where do you live right now, both of you? Where you are located? Uh, I live in Santa mm -hmm. Monica, which is, uh, you know, in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm in Canoga Park, which is also in Los Angeles. I mean, it's like, yeah, so we're, we're pretty close. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, and the rest of the crew, uh, it is in Los pretty Angeles? Much, uh, pretty much That's local, cool. you know. Um, the cinematographer, Stephen Fadelin, um, is sort of responsible for getting the crew he needs. Um, so... He found people, L LA is really a gold mine. There's so many actors and crew uh, workers here. Um, you can find every, everyone you need. Um, yeah, of course, of course. I, 
I come in uh, AFM every year, apart this oh. year, apart from this year. <laughs> yes. So you're right in Santa Monica when you come there. I mean, you yes. come to uh, the Rose I, Hotel. Yes, yes. I live mm -hmm. in Santa Monica. It's wonderful. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, what, Stefan, do, do you... I, I don't know if, if you did something uh, during the last months. I mean, uh, theater, theatrical-wise, uh, did you... Uh, did you do something with your art virtual, virtually? Did you have rehearsals or uh, plays on uh, the internet? Um, you mean where can you see other things I've done or, uh, I'm sorry. I'm asking you because uh, some, some actors were a bit active uh, and they were making their own uh, mobile uh, films and uh, during the pandemic and mm. they were I'm, busy. I'm not that facile, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm sort of old fashioned in the sense that I write a script and do sort of a, a movie out of it uh, every eight years. I mean, it's not a quick process. <laughs> um, so I don't have anything on, uh, I mean, my website, of course, is on the Apple or those platforms, um, but I don't write for um, episodic stuff for that medium, if yeah. that's what you're, you're yeah. asking. Mm -hmm. But we what? have been making, we've, we've been, been doing, like based obviously on Love is Not Love, and since everything became digital um, and is now, you know, everything is online, we have been doing like, you know, little snippets of like interviews and connecting it with the, um, the movie itself and who the characters are and, you know, all these kind of things that um, have been obviously directed by Steve long distance, you know, kind of telling us what we should do. And then uh, the director of photography, uh, Steve Faden, and, you know, putting it together and editing with, you know, clips of the movie. And so that has been creatively something that has kept us, you know. And that's on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, it, it's good to know that uh, actors um, more and more are involved in uh, technology and uh, they don't wait for the theaters to open in order to go on with their uh, art. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so Stephen, uh, uh, what do you plan now? What is your next uh, project? Of course, the film has to have uh, to be in a journey in festivals and uh, theatrical to have a theatrical release. I believe. But what yeah. else do you plan for the future? The film is having a, a good festival life, and we're certainly glad to be in your festival. Let me just say that. Uh, and I want to give you a word of praise because you're very dogged. Uh, you made sure that uh, the film was translated into Greek and uh, that is not easy. Uh, so we went back and forth a lot uh, and finally uh, succeeded in, in getting you uh, an appropriate uh, yeah. subtitled version. So, but that's all because of your um, focus and decision to, to get that done. You're very helpful. I really thank you for that. Thank um, you. Yeah, because I believe that the Greek uh, speaking audience will uh, love it. Uh, so th that's why. Great. And I, 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 I want to have more future with the film in Greece. Uh, maybe have uh, special screenings uh, next year in the theater. Uh, and also we have uh, Inspire TV. We can have uh, video on demand screenings. Uh, well, that would be great. And yeah. uh, it's a festival. Your festival is a festival I wish I was at right now. Uh, because <laughs> no. there's so many good films and so many interesting people. Um, mm. And uh, it, it really uh, creates an appetite. Uh, you run a great festival and then it's very alluring. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, yes, but all of you, you make this festival to be like that. You and Angela and Brian and Tiffany and uh, all the people who work uh, behind the cameras uh, yes. to make this real. 
and we didn't want to, to, to stop. We didn't we, we say, no, we will do it. <laughs> <laughs> we will find a way. Because mm -hmm. we do the same, maybe more work now, and uh, we create more interest for the future. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that uh, this uh, selection of this year is done. Of course, all the information will stay on our website. We give the opportunity to uh, the filmmakers like you to be on uh, Inspire TV, uh, video on demand. And uh, next year, we, we, we will be together. We will yes. find the Yeah. <laughs> we would love to go. We would love to go to a screening, right? In, yes. There. Mm -hmm. Yes. We would love to. Um, <laughs> So, uh, uh, the, tell me more about your interaction with uh, actors and, uh, and Alejandra. Uh, she, she always does what uh, you do, or you are an actor too, I think. You have your own yes, uh, I, I, To me, the most important part of a film is the performance. Uh, I mean, I think if it doesn't have a performance, then there's no film. Uh, and make a good performer can uh, make you forget that there are any mistakes, you know. Uh, but uh, to have a, a player like uh, Alejandra is, is really a gift um, because she will do things uh, that you maybe wouldn't have thought of to direct, you know, her intuitions. I think actors are thieves, really good ones. They take the script and they grab it away from you and they say, ah, this is how I'm going to play. And uh, that's, that's when the good ones uh, come through on, on camera. And Alejandra certainly is uh, a great thief. Uh, <laughs> if... I understand. Uh... But it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch. Um, and to, I think what it taught me being in it as well is, um, how flexible you have to be. Uh, yeah. You have to really be uh, alert to the changes and believe in them and not be afraid that you're wandering off the path that you maybe had thought you were going to be on. Uh, so you have, to, uh, you have to ride with it. Um, and it's a very uh, releasing process to, uh, to give in to uh, that interaction. Uh, the most important person on the set is not you, it's your partner. Uh, and if you play with your partner, then you'll have a scene. Yeah, but uh, if you don't play at this, this specific scene with uh, this specific actor, uh, how flexible you are, uh, your, the actors, to, to change the script? Well, how flexible are you? No, it's, it's, uh, it's a good question because if, you, if an actor isn't willing to play, then you're in trouble, you know, because there's nothing you can do. It's like trying to get uh, uh, water from a stone. I mean, you can't do it. Uh, you really need actors who are on board with what you're trying to do and who are not trying to protect themselves uh, and who want to make your film and play the story the best they can. Uh, everybody does it a little differently, um, but that's the spirit. Uh, and you've got, in terms of casting, you, you've got to be very quick. I, I had a player and who was playing one of the construction workers and I, I fired him after one day because he wasn't playing. You know, we don't have much time you know, uh, when you're working on such a short budget, your time is really short and you've got to make the most of it. And, you know, you have to do things you normally would not do in life. So, uh, but it's for the good of the film, you have to do it. Yeah. Uh, what is, in your opinion, what is best to, to do a lot of rehearsals or to let the actors to be more spontaneous uh, during shooting? Be very careful when an actor says, oh, I'll just wait for the camera. Then you're in trouble, okay? Uh, you've got to rehearse, I'll tell you why. You'll discover the scene uh, in ways that you hadn't even thought of. And second, if it's you, the two of you, 
you're a lot cheaper uh, to rehearse than to wait for a whole crew to be there and to find it. I mean, you go, okay, now we're doing take 16 because this is so terrible. Uh, you're wasting time and money. You save yourself a lot of money uh, by rehearsing a lot and you discover the film a lot. Uh, so that when the camera does come, you've been through it. You've been through the uh, mistakes. You've been through uh, different options and your instinct is a little bit freer, I think. Especially yeah. in this film where Steven was, you know, I mean, in our scenes, he was there with me, you know, it was just the two of us. And I felt comfortable that we had rehearsed enough um, and we had discovered the characters and played and tried different things enough. So then when we were on set, it was like, he knew what he was doing. I knew what I was doing. And we, you know, we were still able to keep it fresh and, you know, work things that came out because it something always comes up and, uh, you know, you're in a different mood. You've gone through different scenes during the day. I mean, it, tons of things can happen, but the essence of the scene is there and you really know what you're doing. And I feel comfortable because then you're thinking, well, is he really focusing on what I'm doing? But because we had rehearsed before and it was wonderful because he had the director of photography, um, Steve Fadlin with us um, in all our scenes and he actually was there with the camera and we would see how he would, you know, uh, where he would put the camera and we were feeling him and we knew what was happening. This was all during rehearsals, which I had never gone through in a film. This is something very, very rare. Normally ha what happens is what you're saying, you know, it just, you're on set and maybe you get to rehearse it, uh, you know, maybe a week before, but that's about it. And not really to the depth that, you know, we did it with Steve. So it was really helpful as an actor to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, Stephen, if uh, you had the chance uh, to start uh, the film now, uh, after six months being in uh, lockdown, and do you have the budget, do you have the story, you have the cast? Uh, of course, you have to rehearse first. Uh, how comfortable would you? be to do rehearsals uh, on long distance on internet at Zoom, or you would wait? Yeah, I'd wait. I would. Uh, I mean, I'm not under, if, if I was uh, under a pressure of a deadline and uh, was doing it for someone else who was paying me, uh, yes, uh, I would learn how to do that. But if it's uh, something that is a project of mine, I want to wait until I have available everything that's familiar to me. I don't want to work uh, unfamiliarly with uh, my script or my actors, you know, uh, it, it's got to be back to the way it was uh, for yes. me. How about so, you? What, what do you think? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think after being five or six months uh, locked down and I have the opportunity to do something, to create uh, something new, and uh, I have a deadline uh, and the option to do it uh, on internet, uh, I would try to do mm -hmm. the new way. In, uh, I would try. If I didn't like and I had the opportunity to do it again. Yes. I would consider that, but uh, yes, I think, uh, in my opinion, I would uh, try. Well, I bet you'd be good at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I know it's a challenge. It yes. is a challenge, and uh, I would uh, think the positive uh, points of view. Uh, time less time consuming, maybe no transfers. Um, uh, maybe the time the, the time schedule would be more uh, flexible for me. So I would consider things like that. I think, my mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I don't like to wait uh, more if I can do something uh, right away or in due course. Right. Um, well, I, I'm uh, preparing a script. So, I mean, that's an easy thing to do during lockdown. Uh, but I hope that when it's ready, 
um, that you know I'll, the people will be available to me and that we can uh, not have to go through all this inhuman stuff to get to the human stuff. Yes, yes, I agree with you. And also it's good because if you are in the same city, you don't have to travel to take a plane. It's, right. it's easy, it's easy to, mm. to wait <laughs> in order to, to be uh, in physical. Uh, well, I hope it won't be it? too much longer. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. sure everybody that way, feels that way. <laughs> okay, Alejandra, have you ever uh, thought uh, to, to write, do you write? A script, a play by your own? Yeah, just before the, the pandemic started, I, um, I decided to write with um, someone else, actually. I, um, I'm working with a, another director, a woman um, director and writer. Um, it's a very personal play. It talks about motherhood and what it really means to be a mother in these times, um, not pandemic times, because as I said, I started, it has to do with women issues and reproductive issues. And um, it's something that I've wanted to write um, and talk about for a very long time. So this is the first time that I'm really doing it. Um, the pandemic has really stopped um, the work that I was doing unfortunately, um, because of the craziness of it all, <laughs> just exactly because of being a mother. Um, I have two young children and uh, life has been extremely crazy for me at this mm -hmm. moment. Yeah, so um, I'm trying to keep active, but it's, uh, it's hard. There's a lot going on right now, so. Okay, but uh, yeah, so you make your efforts. Yeah, I do, I do, yeah. I try. <laughs> And the director, maybe. <laughs> yes, director, I don't know. I don't think. You learn from Stephen now, acting and directing. At the same yeah, time. he's very courageous and adventurous. I'm not really sure. I don't, and I don't even know if I like doing that part. I like, um, I really like to be in the character's skin. That's what I love to do. I love to think about the character and who it is and, have the feelings in me and um, play with it and um, create a story. Uh, that's what I really, that's what I'm really passionate about doing. So, um, I mean, the, the writing of this script that I'm, you know, in the process of, I'm, you know, I will play the, you know, the main character, but I'm definitely not going to direct or anything like that. I want someone else, you know, and I feel comfortable as an actor, um, much more comfortable having someone else kind of be vigilant and know, you know, supervise what I'm doing. So someone who I trust, so. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stefan, um, have you ever thought uh, this uh, film, the script, Love uh, is Not Love, uh, would to convert it to a theatrical play, to be on stage? Um, is there such an uh, option? Listen, I think uh, a story can find uh, different ways of uh, telling itself. Uh, I can see this on stage, yeah. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> That's why I asked you. But, uh, but it's funny that when you watch it, uh, I mean, like the opening scenes with all the traffic and pedestrians and uh, clowns playing at the street performance. You think that's a play? You need a very good sound designer for that. Uh -huh. In order to create uh, the feeling, with the sound to visualize that. Yeah. You're right. What well, do mm -hmm. should I do that? <laughs> it's, it's an idea. I, I've seen uh, plays uh, not so good, like this story, and they were on Broadway. So, <laughs> so I think a good story uh, has many ways uh, to be told, to be right. presented. So it's a good story. Well, that's great. I appreciate that, and uh, I will think about it. I, I definitely yes. will. Uh, 
Thank you for the uh, the push. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, thank you very much for being here with us. We had this difficulty in the beginning, but I'm glad that you met Brian. Yes. And, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, would you like to add something uh, before we conclude this uh, chat? Uh, Ali? Um, well, I wish that everyone will see love is not love. And I think, um, and I've always said it, I feel that it really is a story about um, trying to find love, um, not necessarily achieving it. <laughs> But um, I think anyone from, uh, you know, different ages and people who've been married for a really long time or people who are starting a new relationship or people who are divorced or um, I really think that it's it's a movie that talks about um, this you know human feeling and how difficult it is to sometimes find it because we're looking really for something that we have in our imagination um, that doesn't really represent what love is um, and how difficult it is sometimes in reality to kind of put those things together, what you have and the idea of you have, uh, the idea you have of what love should be. So yeah, I would love people to see the movie. Okay, thank you, Steven. Well, I, I just, uh, I want the people to enjoy the performances. Uh, I think the actors are really good. Uh, I, I like the ensemble uh, where everybody plays together. Um, and I, I think it's a good story, but also that the storytellers themselves are excellent. Um, and for that reason, I would recommend the film. Okay. Thank you. Great. Uh, I would like to ask you more things i don't know how ready or uh, you, uh, you are in order to answer one last question sure. um alejandra yes. what is, did you like the most uh, in your cooperation with stefan and uh, you didn't expect to do that something happened you and you didn't expect to have uh, such a reaction And you, Stefan, the same for uh, Alejandra. Mm -hmm. Well, um, definitely, I mean, one of the most challenging things for me, as I said in the beginning, when I read the script and um, my character is extremely sexual and that is her, you know, that is her focus throughout the movie. Um, I was scared to read it. I was like, wow how do I play her? Who is this person? How can she do what she does for a living? And what are her motivations? Why does she do it? And how can she go through life doing what she does and not, I guess, connecting with the people that she does um, along the way? Um, so for me, that was the first like Thing that catched my eye and I had to I think what I was able to find through rehearsals with Steve that I wasn't maybe focusing on in the beginning was really the human part of the character I mean the sexual part came kind of played well uh, with what was happening between the two characters but wasn't necessarily the main theme. What was important is these two human beings who were connecting, who were very lonely and needy and were missing this part of, you know, e each of them in their own way, were really just needing to be loved. And I think that's what makes their story very powerful because it, the, the sexuality in it is kind of, in a secondary, um, I think uh, is a secondary aspect. Really what's important is them trying to connect and unfortunately not being able to and how to try to figure that out. So I think that was for me a revelation during the rehearsals, you know, finding that 
that humanity in her and not this, um, you know, stereotype of the call girl or the, you know, the prostitute or, you know, uh, it was something very, very different. And that was very interesting for me to find. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Well, having worked with Alejandra in the short piece, uh, I saw a lot more in her than she was, uh, she was playing. She was playing sort of uh, secondary uh, parts. I mean, the friend or the scientist or I, I don't know, it wasn't her. Uh, and I, I wanted her to really get a part she could blossom in and uh, show exactly how strong a, a player she is. Um, I knew she could do it. And uh, I remember the first day the, uh, we had a costume fitting uh, and she put on uh, one of the costumes of Reina and it transformed her. Uh, she began to walk like Reina. She sat on the couch like Reina. I mean, I, I could see the character seeping up into her, you mm -hmm. know, uh, and that is fabulous. Uh, I mean, to, I had to prove it to her that she could do it. Uh, and I knew she could, and uh, she she delivered. <laughs> but it's funny because the actor doesn't really know sometimes what they're capable of. Someone else has to say, you know, you should play this, uh, or you could play this if you wanted to, um, or you would be really good if you tried. Uh, so I was glad she was. Uh, she allowed me to persuade her. To, to take this on. Uh, and I think uh, she even convinced herself in the end. I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excellent. This is chemistry. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> is. Uh, project development. <laughs> yes, no, I feel that it was an experiment that yeah. uh, we all had that sort of uh, work ethic uh, to play. You know, uh, we weren't trying to protect anything. We were trying to discover things. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the best way to rehearse. It's the best way to perform. Uh, and I was never thinking, oh no, you're not doing what, uh, what I expected. It's like, whatever you're doing is great. Uh, you know, uh, once you get in sort of the intuitive line with a character, you don't make mistakes. There's nothing you can do that's wrong. Uh, and it's just up to the camera to, uh, to catch it. Uh, and, we, and we did. Mm -hmm. And that was a thrill. Thank you. Thank you. So you have a good, uh, very good material, a very good relationship, very good story to, to tell in different <laughs> ways. So. Yes. Yvonne, I wish you good luck with the movie. Yeah. Well, thank um, you. I wish you Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas to you. And, and my, my last question to you is, uh, are we going to get an invitation next year to come to Corinth? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Great. Absolutely. <laughs> and not only, because you are, uh, it is your first feature film, right? Yes. Yeah, the film is also eligible to participate in Cyprus, uh, International Film Festival. Uh, it is only for first feature films. Uh -huh. and, and it will compete for the Golden Aphrodite. Oh, very <laughs> exciting. Uh, do I have to uh, enter that film or will uh, you pass it on or is it a festival? It is eligible. It will be selected. It is eligible okay. because it is already selected in uh, this festival. And it is your, also your first feature film. Well, so, thank you. Thank it is you. also you super exciting. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> so Petra, is this going to be, was this already screened? I have some uh, Greek friends here. So I was wondering, yeah, I would love them to see it, but I don't know if the, this, is this, or, did this is, already is screened? The, is this the day of uh, screening of the film virtually? Mm -hmm. uh, if they buy the festival pass, they can mm -hmm. uh, see it until also the 25th of December. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you like, uh, we can make it uh, to convert it to a premiere, uh, so it will be it can be seen individually the rest of the days. Oh, we can okay. do that. Please let me know if people want uh, 
to see more only this film, we can arrange uh, the premiere. I mean, on internet. Uh, on internet, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, on the web. It yeah. is uh, only for uh, the group uh, something today, but it can be converted to a British online premiere and it will stay longer. Okay, all right. Yeah, because I have only to... for this specific film. Yeah. Okay. All we right. can do it. We can do it. Yes. Okay. Sounds exciting. I appreciate it, Petra. Yes, thank you so thank much. You okay, so much. thank you so much. Mm, yes, thank you. See you soon. Really nice see seeing you. you. Yes. So, yes. Bye Very good. Bye bye. Healthy and be inspired. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. You as well. Bye bye. Bye bye.